Hey guys, this is Karen with Planning with Care Bear, and I've got a two-part video here, and this is not part of the giveaway. The last one that I'll be filming shortly is the Daily Duo for this week, um, and I've already filmed a couple clips of that, and I'll be filming um, a few more clips to finish it up. I got a Timu order in today and so I was going to show you guys that and then I also got um I was going to show you the all the candles that was in the candle um advent calendar from Aldi and then the socks that were in the it's like the pink uh, Christmas sock and the calendar from Five Below. So I'm going to do that last, but I'm going to leave it sitting right here because I have strained something in my back and this bin is heavy. So without further ado, let us look at Timu orders. Okay, um, one thing I got, and I've been seeing a lot of people making their like iced coffees and stuff with a one of the glass uh, jars and with the wood lid and this says ball um mess mesting mason is what it says on it and it come with this gigantic stainless steel straw this thing is huge okay because the pad of my finger or like my thumb will go over it so you can see kind of trying to um, show you on that. Um, it's got little lines on here, so I don't know what that means or what this lines are for. But I'm not going to use the straw. I will put it in um, my straw drawer. Um, this makes the bubble tea, or boba tea, however you say that, um, straws look like thinning minis. But what I bought to go with that is I bought these glass straws. And it was a pack of, I believe, four. Hope my daughter is not going to break. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, I may need to look for longer ones. I just noticed that. Anyway, there's four glass straws here. And then there's two... Um, cleaning brushes so I may have to look for extra long glass straws because I really don't want to drink out of that stainless steel straw okay so that's these two were obviously sold separate so let me show you that so those two items there and then I watch this girl on YouTube called I think her name is Stephanie uh, couponing girl and she showed this and then I actually seen this at Cracker Barrel and it was like double the price that it was at Timu. And what it is, is a garlic um, chopper. So you just uh, peel your garlic cloves and then you put it in here and then you press down and it will uh, chop the garlic. And then there it goes. you just pull it out like this and then dump it over. I hate getting my hands sticky chopping garlic so I loved this one and then I've got some clothes um, my favorite pair of jeans is from Timu and it's um, um, my ripped jeans the only pair of ripped jeans I have so I ordered a couple more pair I will show you guys those in a minute um, what I got here though is a sweater and it is a turtleneck sweater. I thought this was going to be thicker than what it was. So it will be good um, like into the spring days. And I got this gray color. And then the pretty thing I thought about it is it has this beautiful button detail here. So this, I got this sweater. I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put everything. I need to make sure the pen is turned off though because I don't want to write all my stuff. And then this one, um, I kind of was um, thinking it was going to be different as well. This is a, 
thought it was going to be more sweatshirt. It's almost more like, like, I don't know how to describe this material because they never have tags in it. But it is a, um, a that they call, I think they called it waffle print. And I got the army green and it's a hoodie with, you got two strings here. And then you got um, the pockets here. And then it's just your long sleeve. So I did get this um, army green there. I got both of those in extra large. I already have a sweater like this, but I've got it in lavender. So I got it in this orange. Uh, no, it's red, but it's like an orangey red. And it is just this type of sweater. And it's really nicely made. And it's like a... Uh, just a regular neck. It's not like a turtleneck or anything like that. And then, um, I'll show you guys here. It's kind of like cut up the side a little bit. And then the front uh, comes up higher than the back. The back is lower. So that is that sweater. And then um, I got this pair of jeans. It's going to be hard to try to show this on on camera, but you has got, this is the bag, of course, you got your, this, um, like, worn look, you got the rip in the pocket there, and then this is the other side, um, show you guys the bottoms of them, and you got the sprayed boot cut look, and then, um, it's like this in the beginning, or uh, the, that part of it, and then here is the rip part on that leg, um, that leg, and then here is the rip part on this leg. So we got that pair of jeans, and then I got another pair, and this one is um, not as sprayed. So here is the back of one of the pockets. Here is the back of the other, so you don't see any of the. Um, ripped jean on here yet. It does have the hemmed um, bottom here and then on the part that's the ripped part I got uh, or here it is. You can see just like here and I'll bring it on up so you got the rip here and then you got this part and then you got the big hole here and then the, that's all the rip on that one. Okay, so that is the order from Timu. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, um, I'm going to continue this video. I did the Timu part of it, and then uh, I forgot to, to film this part of it. So we're going to do this part of it. This is going to be the Advent, um, the Advent calendar. This one is from below and it was a sock 12 day calendar so yes I've already opened them because I'm I'm tired of all the boxes being on my dining room table when I need to get there to wrap Christmas gifts so these are kind of telling you which ones they are Haley got one and hers is called the ugly sweater one and I don't even know if all these I think they're in order by the way they have them on this picture so these are no show socks for women, sizes 5 to 11, I believe. So here is, camera is crooked. And now it's shaking because it's such, it's temperamental. Here is the pink and red candy cane one. And then we have the green and red with Santa on it. And I haven't read, I haven't worn any of these, so. Yep, uh, no, I did wear the gingerbread ones. This one is, See if I can pull it open. This one is like a 60s van with a peace sign on it and tree on the top. Or whatever year that van is here. I hope I didn't upset anybody. What did you say? This is the pair I've worn. I'm wearing the gingerbread ones. And then the next one is red with eight ball and snowflakes. And then this one is green. With Santa hat, flowers, and peace on. 
I don't want my daughter to get these. These were a lot of pink. I'm not going to pull this over, but this has got the, um, what is that called? Y'all have to tell me. Well, here it's an ornament, but, um, the eight ball smiley face, and it says ho ho on it. Mirror ball, like a mirror ball trophy. Like, dance with stars. And here you have a smiley face with a Santa hat on. And then this one is. That's a flamingo. I don't know if I would wear or not. But if I were no show, then I wouldn't mind wearing them. This is a alligator. So I guess it would be good for the Florida Gators. And it has lights on it. This one is pretty to me, and it's just, uh, compared to all the rest of these, this one's kind of, like, underwhelming. This one and the next one. This one is white with blue snowflakes on it. And then this one is white with red, like, peppermint stripe on it, which, ironically, it doesn't look pretty now, but I've got a Swiss Miss um, peppermint hot chocolate packet in here instead of water i used milk and i used a splash of peppermint mocha creamer from coffee mate and then um of course i warmed the warm the milk up and i put this and stirred it it does have peppermint little pieces in there but i also took whipped cream and squared it on top and then i had um about this much of a candy cane that i just took a meat mallet to and just mashed it and put it on top but it's starting to melt the whipped cream so it's not as pretty as it was I took a picture of it though. I'm putting it on my Facebook page. Let's see. I'm going to show you. That's what it looked like. And it was already starting to melt in because I was trying to deal with the cats. Another thing I got today while I was out, we went to Sam's to get all the stuff we need for Christmas Day dinner and other stuff that we need and my warmer that I got from Aldi does not like the um like the Walmart wax um this my daughter took all the wax I her to grab one piece of wax out of my drawer for stick them off anyway all the small ones that Walmart has it doesn't like it and this battery must be the one that's going bad because this battery was showing green charge and now it's blinking red hang on okay let's try that again Trying to take it off of the tripod. All the tripod pieces decided to come loose in my hands. Okay, so what I was saying, the Aldi wax warmer will not melt. Like the Walmart wax, the small ones that you get, those are too hard for it to, uh, it to um, melt. And it needs these um, ones that are a softer wax. And here you see it, it melts it very good. And then, you can see here, I can't tell what battery that's, I mean, not battery, what light is in there. And I have one in the living room, it's like a, a western one, and I got it in memory of my dad, and it's from Ollie's, and it will melt the Walmart wax fine, no problem. But this makes it, I've actually showed it to you guys on film before, it makes it really like chunky and it won't melt, and I have to dig it out of there. So anyway, these work, and since we were over at Sam's today, um, Bass Pro Shop is right beside Sam's, and these are $6.99 at Bass Pro Shop. I just think it's hilarious that they put on here, not for human consumption, where is this world coming to? It, probably somebody tried to eat it on a dare and then filed a lawsuit against Swan Creek Candle Co. My main name is Swan. So I got pumpkin caramel drizzle. I'm not going to change that right now because I just put the one that's in there, um, in there, Yesterday or today, I can't remember. What this vlog must drive me crazy. My days are running together. And then I got Snooker Doodle. And um, I got one more. But my daughter doesn't know. It's going to be in her stocking. It's Vanilla Pound Cake. It's one of her favorite ones. And then when she seen these two on my desk, she threw a little temper tantrum that I didn't get her any and she was out. So that's when she came in here and got... I told her to get the wax that was in my drawer because it was like one or two pieces left because she had a, a it's called dirty hot chocolate and she liked it at first until it went on the warmer and then when it filled her room she didn't like it so she didn't live in the room because my husband likes it but anyway she's getting one in her stocking 
So that's not on the video that I am uploading right now, which is her Christmas presents. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is this heavy, ooh, this heavy ass basket of candles. I got this advent calendar. It's Huntington Home Senate Candle Advent Calendar. I got it from Aldi. It was $29.99. It's 25 candles in there. And there are these candles like like this. So what I'm going to go do is I haven't lit, I think I've lit one of these. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do though is I'm going to try to line them up because they have a number on the bottom of them and just notice that. So let me line those up and I'll be right back. Okay. 25 candles. <laughs> I have sorted them all. Now you would think that the scent notes that's on the back here would be in order. But, you know, it's not. So I'm going to go through these just quickly because this is, this could be a long video. Okay, this one is number one. And then this Cashmere Snowflakes. This is what it looks like, and it's amber, cedarwood, musk, patchouli, and vanilla. Oh, I just knocked it over. I'm trying to get my basket back over here. I thought it's got some of her stuff on her slime in there. Okay. I'm, I don't hate it, but it's not one of the scents that I would gravitate towards. And I found that when I smelled a lot of these, they were the same way. Okay, this one is caramel and ginger cookie. And it, the scent notes are cinnamon, clove, ginger, 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 sandalwood, and vanilla. And this is the color of it. All of these are either, um, let me show you, those colors. And it's 2.7 by 2.5 inch candles. And it's 25 of them. This one's not bad, but a lot of these scents I think I would gravitate toward. Like this one, I love like bakery and sweets with a little spicy note. But these are not very, they don't have a very good throw on them. So I don't think, even if they change the scents for next year, and I've asked on the Facebook group for Aldi, um, if they, if somebody got it last year and then this year if they were different. Nobody's answered me yet, so I'm just trying to figure it out. I don't think I'll spend $30 again, but it was worth the experience. Because it was our first year with an Aldi, and I've heard that they're... Um, their advent calendars are really good. I got my husband the um, coffee one, and he, he's drank a couple of them, but he's not really much into flavored coffee. So I've inherited a lot of his coffee. My daughter got the slime one. She's liked it, I think. They're little bitty uh, containers like that. Um, she also got the chocolate one. She liked that one. That one's hard to go on. I got, of course, that's all I got, I think. From Aldi, I just got the candle one, I believe. I got the sock one from Bob Below. I got the planner one from The Gold Project. I got one from Wet n Wild from Ulta. I don't think I filmed all of that one. And I think that's all of the advent calendars that we got. I think, I don't know. Okay, this one is number three. Winter, winter Pine and Eucalyptus. Let me get the scent notes. Um, aromatic woody pine. So I get that, but it smells like a Christmas tree with body odor. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna be hard on these. I don't know, y'all are probably laughing. I'm tired, it's, I can't sleep because my back, it's 10.30. I fell asleep at 4 o'clock this morning, I woke up at 12.15. So I'm sitting, sitting, sleeping up because I have pulled a catch in my back on my right lower kind of midway down on my right side of my back um i went outside to our chest freezer and i it, the lid won't stay up so i pushed the lid up and then i needed to look for something so i was holding the lid up with one hand looking at the other i did that twice on the second time i figured out hey this is what made my back hurt like hell and that's been three days ago I got up earlier to come, or to make a hot chocolate and come in here, because I'm restless, and I've got one of those, like, pillow seats. It's got, it looks like a pillow, but it's got arms on it. My husband got it for me last year for Christmas. So I've got that in there. I've got a pillow behind it, a pillow 
I like inside of it or you know in front of it and then I've got a heating pad there um, but when I stood up earlier to come in here I literally had to stand there for probably two to three minutes because my back was spasm so bad I could not move literally take my breath away so I'm gonna have to call the back surgeon again tomorrow um, you tell I'm so excited about this I don't have good runs at Christmas and 2012 is when my life was forever changed when I had the blood clot um, not blood clot, sorry. I had um, MRSA infection that exploded in my lungs. I ended up having a two-month stay in the hospital. That was the morning of Christmas Eve. Um, before that, when we were in Arkansas, I reached under the tree to get my daughter's last gift and ended up having getting a hairline fracture in a rib. So Christmas is not very good for me as far as um, injuries. Okay. I told y'all this is gonna be forever. Okay, this one is day four: myrrh and nutmeg, cin cedarwood, cinnamon, clove, patchouli, and caramel. And again, that's okay. That smells like a scent that you would smell like in a restaurant bathroom. Uh, I'm being hard. I know spiced orange is day five. At least maybe y'all find this is uh, like entertaining. Citrus, sparkling, and zesty. Mm, I'm not an orange fan, so no, I don't like that one at all. This is the only one I lit. This is number nine. No, number six, sorry. Coconut snowman. Snowman. Coconut, jasmine, pineapple, and vanilla. That's okay. I'm probably going to try to off these to like my mother-in-law or my sister-in-law to see if they want. Okay, number seven is eggnog. I thought my husband would like this, but he wasn't impressed because he's a big eggnog fan. Vanilla, butter, cinnamon, musk, nutmeg, and uh, and milk. I smell nothing. I don't know if y'all can tell I'm a little aggravated. I shouldn't even put this video up. I'm so aggravated about these candles. Okay, number eight is strawberry icicles. To me, that doesn't even go with winter, but mint, red berry, strawberry, and vanilla. I smell a little bit of strawberry. Eucalyptus, not one of my favorite scents. Number nine. Eucalyptus, mint, musk, sandalwood, vanilla, white flowers. No, nope, can't smell it. Number ten is snowdrops. Mint and lily of the valley. Nope, no smell. Number 11 is Vanilla Woods. <laughs> Bergamot, Jasmine, Musk, Orange Flower, and Sandalwood. I smell, I, and I'm serious guys, I'm not trying to be hard. I don't smell these candles. And nothing's wrong with me because I smell my wax warm on this right beside me. But I'm putting these things right up to my nose. This one is number 12 and it's the drink I have over here. It's Peppermint Hot Chocolate. And I'm trying to pepper and hot chocolate. Chocolate, uh, gourm gourmand, and mint. I got nothing. Nothing. Oh my God. I, and I'm aggravated because I spent $30 on this. Sparkling fizz. And these have been sitting out just in this basket. So if that's made them go where they don't have a scent or don't have a throw, then they shouldn't be selling them. I'm just being honest. Okay, let's see. Sparkling fizz, apple, musk, pear, and red berries. A little bit of an apple scent. Number 14, green ivy. Herbal, mandarin, pine, and red berries. Mm -mm, nothing. Okay, number 15 is amber and winter fir. It's cedarwood, cinnamon, and pine. Very, um, very like light smell of like a Christmas tree smell. Number sixteen is clove, cinnamon, clove, lemon, sweet vanilla. We get a little bit of a lemon. Um, winter apples. I haven't been showing you which ones they're in. 
there's a there's a good variety of all the colors but they do have a lot in a row because the last four I've, I've been smelling is all this blue color winter apples apple cinnamon clove sweet and vanilla mm, no If nobody wants these, I'll see these going in the trash. If my family don't want them. Pomegranate and sandalwood. Uh, apple, cedarwood, clove, and patchouli. See on this one, why would they use pomegranate? They said pomegranate, but they don't have it in the scent notes. No. 19 is freesia and pear. Bergamot, lemon, patchouli, sweet, pear, and rose. They must have got a good deal on the patchouli um, essence oil or whatever it's called. I smell some on that. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be smelling of. Almond and macaron. Almond, cherry, creamy musk, sweet vanilla. See, this one should smell like a bakery. And it just doesn't. Bergamot and... And that. Bergamot, cedarwood, ginger, patchouli, and amber. Mm, I smell a little bit of something. Festive sugar cookie. Now this one should smell like spice. It should smell like bakery. It should smell like sugar, vanilla. That's what I would think it would smell like. Gourmand, whatever that is. Baking and vanilla. And I smell a little bit of a sweet, almost like a coconut. But... It's just, there's nothing else there. 23 is spiced berries. Hang on, guys. Shadow was trying to get into the room. She was very, making her presence very well known. And now she probably wants me to go over there and raise the blind. But I don't like being in here at night with the blind raised. It just feels like somebody's watching me. Okay, so number 23 is spiced berries. Cedarwood, cinnamon, clove, orange, pine, and vanilla. Hmm. Y'all know my answer is going to be no. I don't smell anything. Smoke and cedar. I do like the color of these. I wish I could melt them down and, and it wouldn't take so long and then I could keep these. But there's so many of these. I don't know what I would do with them. So, I'm not going to go there. Okay. Smoke and cedar. Sandalwood, moss, wood, smoke, tobacco, and honey. No. And I don't like tobacco smell anyway now because... I, me and my husband used to smoke. He smoked for 25 years. I smoked for like six or seven years. And in 20, 2014, I believe it was, yes, 2014, we went to vape and then we weaned ourselves down to zero on the vape and just quit altogether. Okay, 25 is ironically, it's Christmas morning. So, it says it should be clove, cranberry, orange, red berries, and spicy. And, no. So, my answer to all those is, um, no. Let me see if I can pawn them off on somebody. If not, I'll just put them back in this box. I wish I'd save the little drawers that come in it, because they were cute. And, uh, but they had little, uh, cardboard drawers I have the name on it they were those were cute and I saved several of them because I was trying to figure out something crafty wise that I could do and I figured out nothing so I put them in the trash now I'm kind of kicking myself because I think that was a better that was a better um, thing than the candles please you know so fall anywhere not even happen. Okay, so that is the haul of the advent calendars, the Timu haul. I do have another order that's placed, and then I have an order in my cart. So I will film those when it gets here. Please leave a like and let me know if you like this kind of video. I know this is a planning channel, but I'm also trying to do like hauls and different stuff like that. So let me know if you like this. If you do, I'll keep doing them. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. God bless.